guys. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Tawazani Klava. If you are new, if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And today I'm going to show you a few items that I really enjoyed during the year of 2020. I know that this video is a bit late. A lot of them were coming out in the end of December and the first week of January, but they are all still relevant, so I thought I would film them anyway. So if you want to see a few of my favorite things, please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with makeup. Um, my first favorite is this foundation. This is the Yardley and Bonimboli collaboration. And this is the shade Melanin. And the foundation is called the Even Complexion Foundation. So I've tried to get a drugstore foundation for a few times. A lot of them I had to return after buying them because they didn't work until I saw this baby and picked it up. I love this foundation so much. I've spoken about it before. I think I'm always going to have it. The coverage is really beautiful and the color is also really nice, which is not really easy for drugstore um, companies to, to come up with really good colors for uh, black girls, specifically dark skinned black girls like me. But they really did a good job with this one. And also it's affordable. I really, really just love everything about it. The only critique I have is that the pump broke. So if I want to use it now, I have to take it out like this but I don't mind I would still buy it even if it even if it broke again it's about the product at the, at the end of the day and yeah that's my favorite foundation and I love it if you're looking for a foundation and you are the same complexion as me I would definitely recommend the melanin shade but they also have other shades that you can get matched to. Secondly, I have my old, old favorite highlighter for MAC. This is called the Mineralized Skin Finish. It's in the shade Cheeky Bronze. I'm actually wearing it today. I also filmed this makeup look, so stay subscribed so that you can see it. <laughs> so, this is how it looks like. It's so beautiful. It's like a bronzy, pinky highlighter. I love it so much. I've had it for a very long time and I have not hit pan yet. So I have at least a couple, a couple of years left of this and I'm never getting rid of it. And then my next favorite is like the concept of bronzing and these bronzers specifically. So when I started wearing makeup, I didn't really bronze. Um, also because at the time there weren't a lot of bronzers for uh, black girls, specifically dark skinned girls. So when um, shades that work for us were starting to come into the market, I bought these. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade cappuccino they have one which is one shade darker than this which i think will also that one would also work for me but i just bought this one and then i have this one from inglot this is actually marketed as a powder but i use it for for bronzing i love it so this one is darker than the other one and sometimes I use both of them or I use one of them, but I really love bronzing. It really kind of adds dimension uh, to your makeup look. So if you don't have the bronzing step in your makeup, I would suggest that you do. And if you're interested, I also recommend these two bronzers. My next makeup favorite is Fix Plus. This one is in the lavender scent they have a few scents they also have one that doesn't have a scent and i love fix plus especially because i like my makeup to be a little bit more dewy 
and this really does the trick my only critique about it is that the is that the component of the spray is not the best it kind of like it's it's quite harsh so sometimes if you hold the spray too close to your face it will disturb your makeup so you have to kind of hold it far so that it doesn't spray your face like too powerfully or else it's gonna disturb your makeup but otherwise the formula the scent I love fix plus if they can only change that spray it would be the perfect um, setting spray my next makeup favorite are these eyeshadow primers this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is the P. Louise P. Louise Blank Canvas in shade Ruma 4 I love these I use them all the time especially this one because I have oily eyelids because I have oily skin so I need to use this or else my eyeshadow is gonna crease and it's not gonna look nice so if you have the problem I really suggest that you pick this up from Urban Decay they used to have a store in Menlin Mall but you can now um, find them online or inside the Foshini Beauty shop and then this one I, I, I bought it on online too and I love it so much and then I have these eyeshadow palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have the soft glam eyeshadow palette it looks like that inside so beautiful so 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 beautiful and then I have the modern renaissance if you are into makeup and YouTube and you've been watching YouTube for a while you'll know that this was like super raved about iconic I bought these a while ago it was during the Black Friday sale so I was able to buy it from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, I bought it on Black Friday and they only delivered it to me I think it was the 31st of December in 2019 yeah in 2019 so I love these so much so I'm saying that to give you an idea of how long it'll take for them to ship because they are from the US so I love these so much they're beautiful they're like two of the heroes of my makeup collection and they have this velvet um, packaging it feels really nice to touch but you also have to be careful with it because it's gonna get so dirty I've seen people who own these and they are so dirty I'm determined to keep mine in a good condition for as long, for as, long as I can my next favorite is this shirt that I'm wearing. This is from Cotton On. It's called the Dad Shirt and I got it in blue. I really like blue these days. It's like pretty oversized and beautiful and I liked it so much. I went and I bought, um, I bought it in brown. I bought it in this beautiful brown shade. Like I mentioned, it is oversized, and this is actually, shockingly enough, this is size extra small. I don't know if you can see there, but this is an extra small because they are meant to be oversized. So if you're interested in this, especially if you're buying it online, I suggest that you buy maybe either two times or three times uh, Go three or two sizes down because if you buy your usual size, it's gonna be too big. And yeah, it's kind of like a linen fabric. 
that's why even this one I ironed it but it's still kind of wrinkly but I really like that look so these are my dad shirts I have two skincare favorites the first one is this which seems random but this is called a makeup cleansing um, cloth I will put the exact name in the description and this is from Discam. It's kind of like a fluffy fabric. And this is my first step of skincare when I'm wearing makeup. So when I take off this makeup, I'm gonna take this cloth, put it in warm water so that it's nice and damp. And then I just wipe it all over my face. And it takes off makeup better than most cleansers that I've used. I still go in and cleanse my skin, but this is my first step because it, take, it makes the process of removing makeup so easy and so fast. I bought this from Discam a while ago, it was super cheap, and I love it. Then my next skincare product is this facial spray by Mario Badescu. This is the a uh, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Smells so nice, so clean, so fresh. So after I've cleansed my makeup, I will just spray this on my bare skin a few times, and then I'll go in with my serums, moisturizers, everything else that I'm gonna use. and. I really love this. If you like, you can put it in the fridge so that it's nice and cold when you use it. It's also quite enjoyable. Some people use it to set their makeup. I haven't done that before, but I should try it. Maybe it will, maybe it will work out really nice. But Mario Badescu, Mario Badescu facial spray. I bought this from Beauty Bay, but we also have a Mario Badescu website in the country so it's much easier to buy it that way. I didn't know at the time when I bought it but if I repurchase this which I think I am or if I also want to pick up anything else from Mario Badescu I will use that local website. My next favorite is this Eucerin Aquaphor Soothing Skin Balm my hands are quite sensitive especially because we are all using a lot of sanitizer these days so my hands would start to peel to be really dry so i just put this on them and it heals them and i love it it's kind of like a vaseline it kind of looks like vaseline i think i don't know if you can see that yep it looks like Vaseline, but it works so much better. I love this. It's a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. I usually will keep a, a tube of this maybe for like four months or something. So I can kind of justify it because I'm not buying it every month. And I really only use it on my hands and on my lips. So it's a good investment for your skin. And I get this at click so yeah i really liked this during 2020 and my next favorite uh jewelry and it's hoops which have been very trendy in the year 2020 i have these silver big ones from lovisa i don't i, I got this years and years ago so i don't think they have these exact ones but i'll link anything else that looks the same and then i have these gold ones i think i bought these from h&m love them and then i have these i think these were from either h&m lovisa or cotton on so beautiful and then i have these from zara Look at that, so cute. Look at the detail of that robe. Gold, I really like gold jewelry. And then lastly, I have these ones. These ones are fairly new, I bought them in December. And they have this rope type of 
detail and design and they're so cute okay next I have something for my hair which is this eco professional styling gel they have many uh, variations I've never used those ones I've only used this one it's clear as you can see I've only used this one with the orange writing and I love this I've tried a few um, what do you call it? I've tried a few edge control gels in the past and all of them were flaky they would turn white or they wouldn't last the whole day but this one is perfect I really recommend it this is my second tub and as soon as this one finishes I'm going to buy another one I did see that they have one that looked like it was black like the gel was black so that's kind of interesting maybe I will pick that one up uh, first before I repurchase this but if you're looking for an edge control gel this is the girl for you next I have scrunchies I'm wearing one right now I love them so much um, I have these that came in a set these are from Mr. Price I think they were like 30 rand so very very affordable and so cute I also have this black velvet one and I have this kind of orange mustardy one and then I have these huge ones from Cotton On I think that this one is called the Lux Scrunchie and then this one and this one is they are called the Super Scrunchie I think and I have way more than these like I have a lot of scrunchies and I love them so much sometimes I wear them as like a bracelet type of a thing and sometimes I just sometimes I just keep one in my bag just so I can see it when I look for something in my bag <laughs> I don't know but I really love them I love them every time I see a cute scrunchie I have to like think a few times or else I might just buy it <laughs> Or else I might just buy it. Okay, and then the next uh, favorite is something that is very... It's like a new necessity that we all had to comply with during the year of 2020, which is masks. These ones are from Cotton On. They're from the foundation range that they have. And these are so nice. What I like about them is that you can adjust the size because they have this little thing on the side there so you can pull it down and and you can like um, adjust how you want it to fit especially when I'm wearing makeup I don't want it to fit so tight so I make it a bit loose uh, loose enough that it doesn't disturb my makeup too much but it's still doing its job and yeah that's like one of the things that sold me on them and they also have a metal thing here that allows you to kind of um, fit it on your nose which I do that more when I'm not wearing makeup like I said that I don't want it to disturb my makeup but yeah it looks so cute especially this one it matches with my shirt I really love it I have this color I have a black one I also saw they have a checkered pink one so I might pick that up but hopefully I won't need to buy any masks because hopefully we uh, we're gonna we're gonna go back to normal life again soon in the name in the name of God I pray for that I really do next I have the Hugo Boss um, perfume I wish you guys can smell this it's so nice it's like really fresh you smell like you've taken a really nice bath you smell like you just really take care of yourself <laughs> at least that's what I think I smell like when I wear it this is called the Mavi Hugo Boss Mavi I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and I first heard about this perfume from another youtuber called beauty in the blog she hasn't posted in years but she raved about this perfume and then i saw at take a lot they had a sale 
for this is the 70 oh this is a 50 mil and they had a really good sale on it so I bought it and I really love it it's and also the packaging is beautiful pink I love pink speaking of pink I have a couple of bags that I want to show you these ones so this is the nylon bag from cotton on I love it so much if you are familiar with Prada I mean it's it's all over the place these days it's really kind of hard to miss but a lot of the cool girls have been buying and wearing the Prada nylon bags and I can't afford to buy that yet so when I saw that cotton on has had these I was so excited my sister actually bought it first and then I was like I'm gonna twin with her and buy it too I really love it it actually fits quite a bit I thought it wouldn't really fit a lot even my phone fits in there so yeah it's really nice and it's nylon so if it gets dirty it's gonna be easy to clean and I liked it so much that I went and I bought the brown so cute brown is also kind of like a very trendy um, shade especially with bags these days so I really love these I got the pink I got the brown really love it another favorite that I had in the year 2020 was sneakers I had a few sneakers that I hadn't worn they were just sitting in my wardrobe so I decided that I was gonna get into it and I have these to show you these are brand new I haven't worn them yet and these are from cotton on you might be able to tell that I really like cotton on and what are these called I'm gonna uh, write the name of these in the description but I love them really cute sneakers I love the color I love this sort of style it kind of looks like a converse it also kind of looks like vans I really like them so I really enjoyed um, wearing sneakers in the year of 2020 and I'm gonna continue to wear them I haven't worn these yet so I'm excited to put them on and see how cool I can look. My next favorites are scented candles. I have these ones. This is from Diptyque and this one is Jo Malone. So these were a really big treat for me. I actually bought this one on my 29th birthday which was in 2019 so it, I kept it for a while before I started burning it and also I try to preserve it as much as I can and same with this one actually this one I when did I buy this I think I bought it earlier in the year of 2019 this one is completely finished the diptyque unfortunately but this one I only have a little bit of it left and these are beautiful if you love home scents and you want to treat yourself for your birthday or for christmas or graduation anything like that the i would really really recommend these these are some of the best scents i have ever smelled even before i started burning them when they were just sitting in my cupboard they like i could already smell them and they are so beautiful like I wish I wish you could smell this if you want to pass by Edgar's and check it out this one is in the scent peony and blush suede Let's see there. it's beautiful so floral so um, girly and really beautiful this one also is really amazing. It says that this is actually the scent of berries. I had no idea berries smelled this good, but I love these. I'm definitely gonna repurchase them maybe for Christmas uh, or my birthday. 
I'll find you an excuse, girl. <laughs> and yeah, those are my super, super favorites. I loved those during 2020. Now let's move into some techie bits. I have these wireless headphones, earbuds from Typo. And I love this. I love these. I love these. I love these. This is what they look like in the package, and that's what they look like out. So you just put them on like that. I really love these, you guys. I once bought a pair of wireless earbuds from, I think it was Panasonic, and they did not work. The first flaw that they had is that they were trying too hard to replicate the design of the Apple AirPods and they just, they couldn't do it. So they looked really awkward and weird and also they didn't work very well. They sometimes only one of them would pair and not the both of them and the battery life was really bad but these ones i was so excited when i saw them online they cost 499 which it's not cheap like but i decided to buy them because i knew that i was going to use them a lot i use them almost every day when i'm cleaning um working whatever i just put them on play music I play the audio Bible I love them and this is a charging case so as soon as you take it out it's gonna um, start itself and it's gonna pair to your device and then when you are done with it you put it back in so that it charges and it's ready for you the next time you want to use it and it comes with the cable that you can plug to your laptop or just plug, plug to your cell phone charger and you can charge them and use them i love these they have different colors of this part they have like another shade of pink they have white they have black they have gold they have blue so you can you can take your pick of which color you like but yeah I really love these I recommend them you can use them whatever phone you have if it's a iPhone Android whatever so I know you can also connect them to your laptop if it has Bluetooth and also to your iPad so I love these and my next favorite is stickers I have these from typo these butterflies and I have that one there it says chocolate milk and that one there says vibe check so those are really cute I really love them and I also put a few on my iPad they're just really cute and youthful I also bought them on sale I think they were 10 rands a pack the butterflies came in a pack and then these other animal ones where like they are sold individually but they were also on sale when I bought them and my last favorite is my iPad I've had this since 2019 and I love it I use it pretty much every day it's kind of dirty um, sorry <laughs> But I work on this, I watch YouTube, I watch Netflix, I do pretty much everything I would do on a, iPad, on, a lap, on a laptop I can do on this. When I bought it, I wanted a laptop, but I decided that I would get an iPad instead because it's really portable, I can just take it, throw it in the bag and go about my day. I really, really love this guy and yeah so those are my favorite products that i really enjoyed during the year of 2020 and i'm gonna continue to enjoy them i'm sure so let me know what stuff did you like from my list also what are your favorites what did you like during 2020 and what do you think is gonna be your favorite Things, whether it's items or activities 
just anything that's your favorite let me know so we can all be I don't know we can all share our stuff together <laughs> so I hope you liked my video and I will see you next time so stay subscribed and and bye